Today I've got an easy DIY for you. I'm going to show you how to build this simple contraption which will help you hold your boom pole when you can't. If you've been following me on Twitter and Instagram recently, you may have noticed that I've been posting pictures about shooting some interviews. I've had this opportunity recently to do this and I've been responsible for a picture and sound with the producer being responsible for the actual interview. Now a static camera setup is easy, but I needed a way to record audio with my shotgun microphone, namely holding my boom mic in place without me actually doing it. And I didn't want to use a lav mic because I didn't want to deal with clothing noise on somebody not used to wearing a lav microphone. And I didn't want to see the mic on camera anyway, so a lav mic was kind of out. Plus my Sennheiser ME66 is the best microphone that I own, so that's the mic I wanted to use to record sound. Now the best way to do this to hold a shotgun mic over a subject off camera is probably to use a boom mic stand which I used to have, but I had to ditch when I moved here to the Arctic, so that option was out. So I had to somehow hold a boom pole with my microphone at the end of it, and I don't have a boom operator doing this by myself, so a way to hold a boom pole is to use a boom pole holder, uh, similar to a fishing pole holder you may have seen before, and you can mount these in C-stands and put your pole right in those, and that can hold your microphone. But I don't have access to one of those, and I couldn't order one because I had to do the shoot in just a few days, and I don't have a C-stand anyway, so that option was out. What I did have access to was an extra tripod and a bunch of camera rig parts, and that's when I came up with this, which I'm calling the Frugal Boom Clamp. And all that is is a dual straight flash bracket with a couple of camera rig C-clamps mounted to it. Now these are special because they have quarter 20 threads on the bottom, which made it really easy for me to mount to the flash bracket here with the included thumb screws. I simply screwed them down on either end. Now due to the very long and flat nature of this dual flash bracket, it made mounting any quick release plate that I had very simple and very sturdy because it covered so much surface area. The C-clamps are also very effective because they allow me to mount my boom pole in two different places, giving my boom pole a very sturdy way to attach to my tripod. And that's exactly what I did. Because I was now able to mount my boom pole to my tripod, it was very easy for me to position and lock down my shotgun microphone over my static subject. Now the first time I did this, it worked pretty well, except for one thing, and that was that I really had to crank down on my tilt friction lock on my tripod head in order to keep the boom pole in place. So the next time I did this, I brought along one of these, which is a five pound ankle weight. I then slid this on the other end of the boom pole to act as a counterweight, achieved balance, and then locked down the tripod head. That way there wouldn't be so much stress on it. Now that, that worked pretty good until my counterweight slid off because the back end of my boom pole was so smooth. So I had to open this up, place it over the boom pole and the tripod head, and that worked okay. But I think in the future I'm gonna get some sports tape or hockey tape and tape up the back end of my boom pole to give it a grippy surface. That way I can move the counterweight back and forth and I know it's not gonna fall off. So that's the frugal boom clamp. It's worked pretty well for me and I think it could work for you too if you need such a thing. If you'd like to make one, please check all the links in the description below. that will tell you where all the parts are, and it's only going to cost you about $15. Now, if you'd like to see other DIY solutions to filmmaking problems, please check out all the videos on my channel, or you can come to thefrugalfilmmaker.com. Thanks for watching.